All right, welcome back to another episode of The Journey. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course, MSF course, and I'm gonna show you the critical things that they need you to pass at the end. I'll tell you a few reasons why you might wanna take the course, as well as a few pointers to help you get through it. So I'm not gonna delay, I'll get right into it and show you what it's all about. playing yeah I'm gonna show you uh, what to expect in the MSF course but I'm gonna do it on the Sportster it's a big reason why you guys are a part of this channel anyways right plus truth be told it was so wet and miserable the video footage probably would have sucked and uh, they weren't too thrilled about me videotaping their course anyways understandably I guess but uh, let's find an empty parking lot and I'll show you what to expect As we make our way down to the parking lot, I will tell you about the first part of the class. Um, during COVID, it was actually via Zoom. It's the classroom time, so this is where they talk about all the theories about how to ride, the rules of the road, um, how it applies to a motorcycle. This is everything that you're going to need to know to pass the written test. So there's two parts of getting your motorcycle license. There's the written test, and then there's the practical test, which is on a bike. They give you this MSF catalog uh, course handbook and everything's in there but they go through it step by step and at least with my course they were very sure about telling you the things that you know are worth remembering meaning that they're gonna be on the test this is a Massachusetts based course but as far as I can tell everything I've seen I saw one on Texas I think most of the states are all the same so uh, what I'm gonna show you today is the five things that you need to pass for the practical test which if you've never ridden a bike before is a thing that you're going to be the most nervous about, I'm sure. Now we're almost at the parking lot. I'll get set up and I'll see you there. All right, so we're out here in our empty parking lot. I set up the first obstacle. Uh, but before we get into that, who is this class really for? If you're considering taking this class, you're probably in one of two schools of thought. Uh, first, if you're an absolute beginner and you've never kicked a leg over a bike uh, this is absolutely for you you can learn how to ride and it's with instructors who are gonna take their time with you on an easy bike this is an opportunity to learn and they're gonna start with things as basic as what your controls are on your bike and how to use them uh, things to check before you get into riding as good safety practices and also literally how to ride how to use the clutch what to do in an emergency stop situation, all those things. Um, so anyways, absolutely that's for you, especially if you don't have a bike yet. And again, it's their bike. So if you do drop it, you don't need to worry about your big investment here. You know, if it's anything like my class, those bikes have been beat pretty good and dropped a lot, but you know, that's what they're there for. And then there's the other people out there, you know, that have been riding for a while, but they've just been self-taught like myself. And you can never be too safe out there. The other advantage of this is at the end of the course, assuming you pass and you probably will, you're gonna have your motorcycle license. So as long as you have a permit and you pay your fees, you're gonna go right into having a motorcycle license. You never have to worry about that again. This is the first test. There's five tests. Um, this is just a slalom swerve test. And as you can imagine, you just need to swerve between the cones, or in my case, the tennis balls. The thing that they're trying to teach you here, obviously, is control, slow speed control, but also, you know, counter steering. So you got to be able to see how your bike reacts at slow speed. Uh, anything more than walking speed, you have to consider how you're pushing on the handlebars. Uh, and I won't get into that too much, but you do have to look at counter steering and really just play with it on your own to understand what it's all about. Uh, that's another Google search and another YouTube search, uh, not specifically this video right now. You know, they test you at the end of the second practical day. And by the time you have to do this, you've We'll have already done so many of these things that it's going to be second nature to you. All right, next we have turning from a stop as well as a U-turn. All slow speed practices. What I have set up is the two tennis balls of your entrance. You need to make sure that you stay to the left of the innermost tennis ball and stay inside basically the pavement line right there. So inside the tennis ball there. So we're gonna take a hard right turn. You put your inside foot down as your pivot foot and turn your bars the direction you wanna go. 
and then just slowly ease out the clutch and accelerate through, put your foot up and go. And then you have to do a U-turn right down by where my camera is. And I actually didn't measure out how wide it needs to be. Um, honestly, it's probably about the, the width of a single lane um, on the road. But I'm just gonna use these uh, pavement lines for the parking spaces as a reference. So let me show you how that goes. And honestly, it's a lot simpler than it looks. Um, if I can do it on a Harley with ape hangers, uh, you could definitely do it on a little 250. So let's get into it. All right, so next up is the swerve test. Basically what they want you to do is um, swerve to avoid an obstacle. So it's gonna be a counter steer right and a counter steer left, or a counter steer left and a counter steer right. Basically it's a maneuver to do when you can't stop in time, like if a car pulls out in front of you. Um, if you can see the front two tennis balls here, that's the entry lane. And I'm actually gonna be doing a swerve to the right. Um, so I need to do a quick counter steer to the right and then a counter steer to the left to avoid that right tennis ball. Um, the far two are just kind of put in the line to pretend like it's the obstacle that I can't go through. So um, as is the case with a lot of these maneuvers, they want you to get up to a speed of 12 to 18 miles per hour. Um, so we're gonna do that. And also something I forgot to mention is there's a lot of stopping with your front tire in a box. So they just wanna make sure that you can stop where you wanna stop. Um, just practice stopping, honestly, pick a line anywhere and use that and just try to stop with your front tire within two feet of it. So I'm gonna fire up the bike, get this one done. All right, next up is the quick stop test. Again, 12 to 18 miles per hour. The idea here is they wanna teach you how to use both of your brakes at the same time. Pull the clutch in, make sure you're in first when you get when you stop, just in case you have to get out of the way again real quickly. Um, but all you really need to do to pass is stop in a short enough distance. And I couldn't tell you what that is, but all I would say is make sure that you progressively use your front brake and squeeze it more and more and more until you stop um, and you should be fine. Keep everything totally straight, keep your body straight, keep your wheel pointed forward and you're gonna get the most amount of braking possible. All right, so this last one is really a difficult one to try to stage and show you, but I'm just gonna use this parking lot as well as the entrance to that parking lot as our example. Um, they are gonna have a little course set up, just drawn out, looks like a little racetrack. And the idea here is what they want you to do is navigate, it's about a half, uh, three quarters of a lap, and they want you to go through a corner, roll on the throttle as you come out of that corner. It's part of the slow look, press and roll, corner that they're going to teach you. Um, they want to see you kind of roll on the throttle as you go down the straightaway, again at least hitting that 18 or so mile per hour threshold, using both brakes to slow down as you get a safe speed to, to do the corner. You want to slow down before you start cornering. Navigate, look ahead in the corner where you want to go, make sure that there's no obstacles there, find out where you want to go, look at that, and pick the right lane within your lane. As you know, there's three different areas that you can be in your lane. Go through the corner at a consistent speed, and then same thing, roll on the throttle as you get out of that corner, and then there's another spot to stop, and then that's it. Don't be nervous if you're a first timer. They're gonna give you plenty of attention 
and they're gonna go at a slow enough pace that you should be able to keep up. And if you're somebody like me that's been self-taught, um, as an added bonus, you know, you get your motorcycle license if you just have a permit, but you also get a, a discount on your motorcycle insurance for the rest of the time that you own a bike. How much do I owe you? AC said 10%. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I'm a better rider for having taken the course, and I hope this video helps you if you're on the fence about taking it, if you're not sure what you expect. Um, like I said, if you did get enjoyment out of this, or if it was helpful, hit the thumbs up. It might help somebody else find the video as well. Um, as always, hope to see you guys on the road. Be safe and be well. See you on the next one. Uh -oh.